Between the words that are spoken and the words that are heard, may the Spirit of God be present. Amen. Good morning and happy St. Paul Sunday, the feast of the conversion of St. Paul, our patron saint. When he was a young boy, theologian Howard Thurman was out picking berries in a forest when a violent thunderstorm approached. In his panic, he began to run, and eventually he got lost. He then remembered the words of his grandmother, wisdom that she had passed down to him, that in situations like these, it was important to stop, be still, look, and listen. As the lightning strikes began to hit, he was able to see recognizable landmarks. He followed those through the dark, each strike getting him closer and closer and closer to his destination. Young Howard came to understand that day that what initially had terrorized him had also allowed him to safely find his way home. In St. Matthew's Gospel account, Jesus offers advice to his disciples and friends whom he is about to send out into the countryside to proclaim the good news about what Jesus calls the kingdom of heaven. Jesus sends them out to heal those they meet, to minister in his name. In preparing them for this work, Jesus delivers the ominous warning that we read today. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you. You will be dragged before governors and kings because of me. Jesus may well have given this warning to his disciples, but pen was put to paper for St. Matthew's Gospel account decades after Jesus had died. These words were meant as much for those later followers of Jesus as they were for the first. Those in Matthew's community were experiencing exactly the same kind of persecution that Jesus describes. Paul, our namesake who, who never knew the Lord in person in the same way, also sat in jail many times because of the way he continued to bear the truth that Jesus bore. Jesus' words of comfort in the midst of fear hold relevance even all of these centuries later as he invites us to not ignore our fears but to stop, to be still, to look, and to listen. Jesus invites us to turn fear into power so that that which initially terrorizes us can reveal God's presence among us in the world, drawing us closer to God and toward that life that Jesus so often spoke of. We all carry burdens. We all carry worries about how we will afford our retirement or even next month or next week. We worry about losing loved ones or, or perhaps seeing our own health deteriorate, especially in a pandemic. We might worry about losing our reputation or losing friends. We fear change. We fear so much. And so Jesus' message in St. Matthew's Gospel account is relevant for each of us and for St. Paul's as a parish, as we seek to bear truth and love and light in the midst of so much pain, so much tension, and so much sorrow. How might that which makes us afraid be an invitation for us to stop, be still, look, and listen. Perhaps the next step forward is in the direction of something new and unfamiliar. And maybe by taking that step, our hearts may be led further on a journey that leads us home with God 
our maker, our sustainer, and our redeemer, who even in the midst of a lightning storm of life is with us, whose presence abides among us. Amen.